I was sitting right here when the haunting happened. Let me give you a little backstory. Remember that whole pandemic thing, the thing that's still going on today? I usually have a nice lady who comes in and cleans my house about once a month. In between, I get out a broom or a vacuum cleaner. My husband came up with this idea to get a Roomba, the vacuum cleaner that sits on the floor that vacuums all by itself. I thought, well, that's a great idea. And maybe the kitty would even like it because cats like to ride around on Roombas, right? She didn't really like it. She would just stare at it and follow it down the hallway. The one we got was fine, we thought. Had it plugged in right over there and it would sit in its little station. When it's charged, it wakes up and it goes all through the house in vacuums. Now on the one hand, it's a great idea, but on the other hand, I'm a scaredy cat and I wasn't so sure if I wanted to have a robot vacuum cleaner in my house. So I thought about it and then decided, oh, come on, people have Roombas, it's not that big of a deal. So we got one and it worked fine. It's, it's a little unsettling sometimes. We always kept it plugged in, into the wall, in the station, so it should be charged, ready to go. A month or so after we got it, at about two o'clock in the morning, we hear it wake up. It makes this like, <laughs> sound. My husband and I were in bed and here is what we heard from the living room. Please charge Roomba. Scared the crap out of me and I woke my husband up and I said what is going on and he said okay well let's maybe it's all he didn't know so we tried to go back to sleep. Every minute or so for the next five minutes it would do the same thing. Make that beeping sound and say please, please charge Roomba. So my husband got up and unplugged it. It did it again, maybe a month later. When my husband was gonna go away for a few days. I told him ahead of time, how about if we just put it out in the garage? We don't really need it in the house while you're gone. The last thing I wanted was to be woken up by this damn thing and told to charge it. So he put it in the garage. Okay, a few days ago, my husband was making plans to go out of town again for a few days. Before he left, I thought about that thing again and I thought, you know what? I don't think he needs to put it out in the garage because it doesn't seem to want to function even when it's fully charged unless the station is plugged into the wall. A couple of days before he left, I unplugged it and I thought that should do it. It hasn't done this waking up thing in months. It's just been sitting there on the charger, not doing anything. Today is Sunday. He went away on Thursday. On Thursday evening, I was sitting right here on this sofa and it was plugged in right over there and I'm watching TV, minding my own business and all of a sudden it wakes but it didn't say anything this time. I just hear this, this sound. So I turn off the TV and I sat here for about 10 seconds and I stand up and I look over and the damn thing is lit up. The middle button on it is lit up and it says clean. No reason at all. It hadn't done it in months. And I hadn't touched it. I hadn't done anything. Freaked me out. Just freaked me out. So I called my husband, he answers the phone. I'm in a panic, it's like 10 o'clock at night. I told him what happened and he said, well, just unplug it again. It is unplugged. And then he said, well, put it back out in the garage. So I put it out in the garage. I took it outside, I put it in the garage. I tied it to a chair. and I gagged it. So that Roomba is now in my garage, um, tied up with an electrical cord because I didn't find any rope. I don't want that thing back in my house. I'm the kind of person that when things like that happen, it freaks me out. I know I'm never gonna use it again. How do we sell this? We could put it on Craigslist or eBay or whatever. The thing costs like, I don't know, like $375. I don't know how much we're gonna get out of it. So here's my idea and you can help me out and maybe you can have it. I have been wanting to get to a thousand subscribers. I have a little under 100 right now. 
now. And so I have this great idea. When I get a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna have a drawing and I'm gonna give the Roomba to one of my subscribers. So if you're interested in winning a slightly used, fully functional Roomba, let me know. Hit the subscribe button, put in the comments below that you would be interested in winning it. I'm not gonna just choose anybody if they haven't told me that they want to win it. And please, you have to be in the continental United States or I don't think I could afford the shipping. You can tie it up in your garage too. Maybe you just wanna get it a little maid's uniform and let it sweep your house. So if you wanna win that Roomba, just subscribe to my channel and leave me a note in the comments below that you would like to have the Roomba. And when I get a thousand subscribers, I'm gonna draw a name and choose somebody who wants to have it and I'll package it up and ship it to you, no charge. You are totally responsible for it after that. I don't want anything coming back to me. I don't want any complaints about it. It's on you. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna win my Roomba, my slightly haunted Roomba and I'll draw a name and I'll send it to you. I am five weeks and four days post-op, facelift, neck lift, lower blepharoplasty and temporal brow lift. I'm finally feeling like I can put on some eye makeup. In my previous videos, I talked about how I'm having a terrible time with my dry eyes. They're feeling much better now. So I'm ready to try some eye makeup. A month ago, I demoed the Thrive Cosmetics. When I did that demo, I did not put on the Brilliant Eye Brightener. It's a highlighter slash concealer. I have my beautiful gray roots here. I use that magic, uh, root magic, what's it called? Magic root cover up just to get up here because I still can't get my roots done for another couple of weeks. So I'm looking forward to that. But I used the root touch up in there, but I don't have any on my, um, sides. I'm already wearing Urban Decay eyeshadow primer and the Naked 2 palette. I have some of the basic neutral colors on right now as a base. I'm going to go ahead and do this Muna. Muna? M-U-N-A. Okay, it's shimmery. I like that. Boy, I don't know. It's kind of greasy. I don't know if this is going to last very long. That's the most dramatic eyeshadow I've worn in a long time. What I put on as the base, I wanted to show you this. Let's see. Yeah. There. The Naked 2 palette. Wait, is it Naked? Naked 3. Sorry. Naked 3 palette by Urban Decay. What did I put on? Um, oh, these names. I don't know why they come up with these names. I used several of these as a base. And then I put on the Thrive Brightener over it as just a little bit of a, an accent. These come in other brighter shades. Maybe the next time I'll try that. But this one, like I said, is called Muna. It's dramatic. I think I like it. So let me get this evened out. I did not have an upper blepharoplasty. What I had was a temporal brow lift. So instead of having any sutures in my eyelids to lift them, I had um, sutures here that lifted the corner of my eyebrows. I'm getting makeup all over myself. It seems a little greasy to me, but um, so you can maybe see it. I don't know if that would stay in place. This is their Thrive Eyeliner, and the name of it is Naily, N-A-L-I-E. They seem to have people's names as their colors. I don't appreciate that. I don't know about you, but when I'm looking for a color and I want another shade that will go with my skin tone or my eye color, I don't appreciate colors that are like Naily. What? what is, that doesn't tell me anything. So let me try the eyeliner, Naily. I am so excited that I get to wear eye makeup. I think I got eyeliner in my eye. I 
it works as an eyebrow pencil too. That eyeliner is a little greasy. It has a little buff, um, like a foamy thing, and you're supposed to actually kind of smudge out the eyeliner after you've applied it. Now it's a little more like a smoky eye. I'm trying to keep that mirror out of there. So that's better. I like that better. Even with the lower bluff, I feel like I don't like having a heavy line all the way around my eyes. So I prefer to just line my upper lid. I've got eyeliner on for the first time in over a month. Liquid Lash Extensions Mascara. So I'm gonna put that on now. Mascara is incredible. If you want to be in my little drawing that I'm gonna have when I reach a thousand subscribers, if you want the Roomba, just leave me a note in the comments below that you would like to be entered in the drawing when I reach a thousand subscribers. I'll package it up at my expense and I'll ship it only to the continental United States, please. I think it'd be too difficult to try to ship it out of the country and too expensive. So all the people who want to be entered in the drawing, I will put all the names into a hat and draw a name and send you the Roomba. If I reach a thousand subscribers and only say 500 people are even interested in getting it, then your chances of winning are even better. So just leave a comment below letting me know if you want me to put your name in the hat for that when I reach the thousand subscriber mark and somebody will get my Roomba. Ooh, this stuff dries fast, so you gotta kinda um, put the coats on pretty fast. I never curl my eyelashes. I should get an eyelash curler and use that sometime. So I'm gonna put a little on the bottom. I'm not very neat when it comes to mascara. Okay, so... So I have eye makeup on now for the first time in over a month. I still have some uh, swelling. I definitely have bruising still on my neck and that's been, um, you know, kind of frustrating. I did have a treatment for the bruising that was done at Dr. Ransom's office. So here's how it's looking. I still have that bruising. I've got makeup on over it. That might have even made it look darker. I don't know. But it's calming down. My face is still kind of, uh, how can I put that? How can I say it's stressed? There's still like a kind of a fatigue that I feel. I'm still tired. I am five weeks and four days out from my surgery and it's been, it's been a kind of a rough recovery for me. Not terrible, but very tiring. It takes a lot out of you. Um, <laughs> they take more out of you than just your skin, but I'm doing better. I've got makeup on. Maybe I feel almost like I have too much makeup on. So I'm ready for an evening out, even though nobody's home, <laughs> even though it's just me. I'm still working on my lisping of my mouth. I'm a little concerned about my mouth still, but it's getting better. I'm working on the lisping. I'm doing my, my exercises I'm supposed to be doing to loosen my facial muscles up. But I put on some makeup today. I'm so excited I'm wearing eye makeup finally. I can't think of any other update I was gonna give about my surgery. The old Older you are and I'm you know I could be 20 years older than some of you who are watching who had a facelift people are in their 40s and 50s getting facelifts I'm a whole lot older than that the older you get the recovery is gonna be a little rougher but I'm doing fine other than that I had the surgery on uh, March 24th 2021 and today is May I think it's May 2nd 
Yes, May 2nd, 2021. So that's my update. I really, truly am going to give that stupid Roomba away. I'm sure somebody will enjoy it and they won't be freaked out by it lighting up on weird occasions. So let me know in the comments if you are interested in being entered in my drawing. You need to be a subscriber and when I reach a thousand subscribers, that's when I'm gonna go ahead and pull all the names of the people who left in the comments that they would like to be in the drawing. I'll choose a name and I'll package it up and send it to you at my cost. That is my update. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Maybe I need a haircut.